Hi everyone, in this video we are going to try installing Warn 2.1 on CompuY with the help of uh, Kijai's latest uh, Hugging Face repository and he uploaded few models both uh, 14 billion and 1.3 billion one We are going to try this one but I think the process would be similar if you want to try the 14 billion model So I'm going to use a uh, run pod for installing and running Alright, so I'm in my run pod So we'll be using this uh, one video wrapper which is available on GitHub so let's just first create a pod if you are running it locally you don't have to do all of this so i'm just thinking that 1.3 billion model would be enough to run on this hardware 16 gb vram i think would be more than enough so i'll just going to try this one and uh, for the template or let's just use pytorch 2.4 with CUDA 12.4 and uh, with that we are going to deploy so it will going to cost us 17 cent an hour in just few minutes or seconds it will be we'll be able to connect with it also i'm going to expo expose the following ports 4000 and 8188 or you can just uh, expose 8188 for running the comp ui and uh, i'm going to save and it is going to restart my pod you can also do that while deploying while creating a pod there will be a customize i'm just going to quickly show you i just forgot at the moment of creating the pod so when you select the select your uh, preferred GPU here you will have the edit template and from here you can expose whatever ports you want and it is now running so I'm just going to click on connect and uh, we are going to connect it through the web terminal and I'm just going to open the terminal cool so we are in uh, run pod now from here you can follow the same steps you can just open your terminal if you are in your if you are trying to run it locally so I'm just going to move to the workspace real quick all right so let's just start by installing the comp UI and you just have to copy it from here and uh, say git clone and paste the url and just like that comfui will be installed if you have already installed you can skip this part after installing comfui we are going to uh, install comfui package manager or i think node manager you can search for comfui manager yeah comfui manager you can just copy the link from here all right we have installed comfui let's just go to the custom nodes you can say cd comfui and cd custom nodes and we are going to say git clone we can say git clone the configure manager we can copy this from here and just paste it here and it is going to install the configure manager now there is a problem while i was trying to run it previously uh, while trying the hunian video on run pod i uh, got this error so the solution to that would be installing 4.7.1 version of typing extension so in case i don't want to mess up the video so on the safe side i'm going to install the typing extension 4.7.1 and as well as we are going to install the dependencies required by comfui so we will say pip install dash r requirements.txt and make sure you are in the comfui directory from here so if you do ls you can see uh right over here requirements.txt so just hit enter and it's going to install all the requirements so uh it has un uninstalled the 4.7.1 uh, version of typing extension so i'm just going to reinstall it so i'll just rerun the same command pip install typing extension 4.7.1 i'm going to clear the screen and uh, now we have successfully set up the comp ui so now we would need this uh, comp ui one video wrapper so i'm just going to copy it and go back to the custom nodes and say git clone all right so I'll just leave the, all the links in down description. You can go from there. And uh, so now we will download the models. So for uh, getting the location of the models, we are going to go below here. And uh, you can see we need the text encoder in uh, this repository. So I'm just going to go to the models. And if I ls, we will have text encoder. So I'm just going to download the text encoder here. So the text encoder we are going to use fp16 we have and we have fp32 so let's just go with the fp16 and you can click here copy download link just say wget and paste the link here and hit enter and it's going to download the model so while it is downloading let's create a, another instance of the terminal and go back to the comp ui workspace comp ui models let's go back to the repository and now we will download the diffuser model so we have to go back to the diffusion models so we'll say cd diffusion models all right now we are in the diffusion models so we'll go back to our 
hugging face repository of Comp UI. So we are going to use 1.3 BF16. So I'm just going to click on this and copy the download link from here. Go back to run pod and say wget paste the link here. Now it's going to download the model for you. And the last we need the VAE. So since we are using BF16, I'll go back to the file and version. We will download the BF16 VAE. So I'm just going to do the same. Copy the download link. Go back to the terminal. It has already downloaded the text encoder. So I'll just change the directory. Let's just clear the screen first. Change the directory. Go back by using cd dot dot. And if I do ls, we have a uh, VAE. So we'll say cd VAE and wget and paste the link here and hit enter. All right, awesome. Now we will go back to the Comp UI parent directory. So just to show you, if I print working directory, I'm inside the Comp UI and if I hit LS, you should see all these files. Now, once this model is downloaded, we are going to close this terminal. All right, so we have downloaded the model. Now I'll close this terminal and now we are going to run the model. For this, you can say python main.py. Make sure to add dash dash listen 0.0.0.0 and hit enter. All right, now it is running the GUI at 0.0.0.08188. Now, if you are running it locally, you can open this URL in your browser. But since we are on run pod, we will go back to our pods. And here you see HTTP service at 8188 port. It is ready. So we'll just click on this. All right, so you can see we have successfully downloaded and ran the Comp UI on uh, run pod. If you are on local, you can skip all these steps except downloading the models in the right directories. Now we need the workflow. So in the same repository, you will get a example workflows. So I'm just going to use text to video workflow. We have video to video. We have image to video. So let's just try text to video. Either you can copy all this and go back to the Comp UI, hit control or command V, and it's going to uh, set up all the workflow for you. Now we are missing few nodes here. So for the resolution of that, we have installed already installed Comp UI Manager. We'll click on Manager and install missing custom nodes. And we can install it. We will install the latest one. All right, it is installed. We will restart and hit Confirm. We'll go back to here and hit Confirm. We are getting a module error, which is no module named Diffusers. So we'll just go back to the terminal, hit Control C. All right, I'm just going to clear the screen and install the diffusers by saying pip install diffusers. Go to cd custom nodes comp UI video wrapper. Let's just go back, go to cd comp UI video wrapper. If I hit ls, we have requirements.txt. Let's install the requirements real quick. pip install dash our requirements.txt. Let's clear the screen. Let's go back by cd dot dot again ls. Now we will install the requirements of video helper suit. So we'll say cd comp UI video helper suit. And if I ls, we have requirements.txt. I'll say pip install dash r requirements.txt. And then we will go back, back. And again, let's try python main.py dash dash listen. Let's go back to the web page and retry it. Okay, it is running up. And uh, we will see the few settings here. Let's see first the text encoder. I'll select open clip from here. And let's see the one video model loader. Let's select the text to video. And from the VAE, we will select the one we have recently downloaded. And let's try this uh, already given text. We will say command and return to run it. Okay, I think there is uh, some problem with the text encoder. All right, so I'm in the official 2.1 text to video repository here. So I'm in 1.3 billion since we are working with 1.3 billion. So we are going to use this one model T5 PMT text. So I'm just going to copy the link from here and uh, I'll just stop it running. I will say CD models text encoder and say wget and hit enter. It's going to take a fair bit of time since it's 11 GB. About four minutes it's estimating. Okay, it is downloaded. I'm going to delete the other one since we have uh, set up the run pod with very little space. I'm just going to remove the older one. Let's go back to the root of comp UI and retry python main.py listen at the usual 0, 0.0. And let's select the T5 UML and hit enter. All right, so it is taking 12 seconds per iteration. And uh, I haven't changed anything uh, as far as the default example workflow given by the Kijai uh, GitHub page.
so if you want to see the gpu util utilization it is using 100 percent gpu and just a 22 percent of memory and for the cpu memory it is using very less i think so we have 47 gb of ram okay it executed in 232 seconds and uh, let's see what it generated right so let's see the prompt the prompt was high quality nature video featuring a red panda balancing on a bamboo stem while a bird lands on its head on the background there's a waterfall so let's see the video okay i think it's good all right so let's try something different this time all right so if you want to do the other uh, example workflows which is image to video and we have video to video there's the model hugging face repository here you have to use 14 billion model for that so there's the image to video for 14 billion text to video 14 billion there's a text to video and uh, just text to video model for 1.3 billion before finishing off this video let's try some other prompt i saw in the video that it can generate text as well so let's try the text okay so i use chess gpt for generating the prompt display the text programming hut in a futuristic cyber themed environment the background should feature animated line of code neon circuit pattern and glowing terminal interface the text itself should have a digital glitch effect with the subtle pixelation and occasional code like distortion right i think this should be enough and uh, let's try running the workflow okay prompt executed in 200 something set seconds and uh, we've got the video i'm not pretty sure if i would like it okay the text is not moving at all it's just static okay let's try something simple generate a video of a cat wearing a tiny chef head standing on its hind legs cooking noodle in a small kitchen but this time we are going to use uh, let's say 50 steps and i will just leave everything default fun and let's try to run it all right this time it took 687 seconds let's go back to our comp ui and let's open the preview so we said generate a video of cat wearing a tiny chef head standing on its hind legs cooking noodle in a small kitchen it did uh, understand that the cat is wearing a hat and uh, there are noodles on the table but this is not exactly what i kind of thought of anyways the purpose of this video was to show you to install uh, to try won 2.1 on comp ui by using the latest uh, kijai's comp ui won video wrapper and uh, how to set up the models in the correct directory and how to run it on run pod as well as locally so i think this is it uh, this would be enough if you have any doubts you can ask them in comments comment section i can try or if you want me to try any prompts just let me know in down comment section i can rerun it and uh, post those uh, videos via the community post of my channel you can hit Control c to stop and go back to the pods make sure to stop it stop pod and uh, make sure to terminate it as well all right so this is it see you in the next one